Hey, welcome back. My name is Al, and this is part four of the ZBrush 101 series. Uh, long time no see, I know. But before we get going in this, I just need to kind of reiterate something to you. And really, it's more of a reminder for myself. I actually, this is my second attempt at making this video uh, because I started to get like a little bit too deep, in my opinion, a little bit too far in the weeds. And that's a problem, especially if you're new to ZBrush. One of my goals with this is to get you going in ZBrush, you know, sculpting characters, monsters, all that fun stuff as quickly and efficiently as possible. And what that means practically for me is to not get in the weeds, to not like go down so far into a rabbit hole that you, wherever you're at in your learning journey, just gets lost, right? As soon as we get lost inside of 3D software or whatever we're doing, then we become frustrated and that's just, you know, it's a, it's a bad place to be in. So I'm going to go to Lightbox, grab one of those Dynamesh spheres. In our previous video, we discussed Sculptures Pro. So I'm going to turn that on. Let's go grab my clay buildup brush. I like to use this alpha, just a little smoother and softer. Sculptures Pro is awesome. Dynamesh is awesome, as I've already said, but there are problems with Sculptures Pro. So one of the limitations is that currently, you know, this is super, super great. If I make a small little circle very quickly, it's very, very smooth. The brush stroke has zero lag. And I'm not talking about the little jaggies on the edge. That's normal with Sculptures Pro. Tiny little circle, tiny little circle. It's super smooth. As soon as I start to get more geometry, that number is going up and up. Okay, so I've just kind of scribbled on this mesh to get up to 300,000. And then if I do that same thing with a clay buildup brush and make a circle, like a small little circle, very quick, you'll notice it's no longer smooth, but it turns into a polygon. So it's dependent upon your PC specs, but it's just super laggy. And if you go too high, it's ultimately just like not even usable in my opinion anymore. So this is where Z Remesher comes in handy. So we are going to get rid of this thing. Let's, let's just go ahead and sculpt my wonderful little character here. Yay. There's the dude. There's my angry boy. Let's look at the geometry. The geometry is not good, but that's okay. And what do I mean by not good? There are kind of like random triangles everywhere. We've got some quads that are kind of angled and skewed. There's a random triangle, right? From the Dynamesh sphere. We've just got not good geometry. Good geometry will be quads, mostly quads that flow throughout our mesh. And this ain't it. So we have Z Remesher. This is under geometry, Z Remesher. And we're going to keep everything the same. And we're just going to press Z Remesher and see what happens. So Z Remesher is a one click solution to go through your entire mesh or your entire sub tool and then give you quads that flow through my mesh. So we went from this to this awesome geometry. Now we did lose some details like that line right there. I can't really see it anymore. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. So what does good geometry do for you with this? I've Z remeshed it, which means I don't want to press sculptures pro anymore. If I do that, I've wasted all my work of the Z remesh. So when you Z remesh something, don't use sculptures pro on it anymore or dynamesh. We're not going to do that. So I'm going to turn that off and then I am going to just start sculpting details. And then in our geometry palette, we can press divide. So it's like, yeah, I really need more geometry. This is going to take each face, divide it by four. And then I've got a little bit more room to make some more details. Awesome. I can do that. Let's divide. Let's just keep on going. Press divide. And you want to do this that quick, but like whenever you need it, right? You're going to add some more details and push, 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 push. Do whatever you need for your sculpt. We're at 640,000 and let's go ahead and do that little test, a little quick clay buildup brush. It's super buttery smooth. There is no jaggy, jagged polygons. Let's press it again. I'm at 2.5 million still buttery smooth. Nothing's wrong with this. This allows you to have good geometry to sculpt on and have a lot more polygons to do it. Let's say I've sculpted this head with sculptures pro and my brush is like, oh my gosh, it's really starting to lag. So we're going to go to geometry, Z remesher, you know, in this example, I'll put it like 7,000. That's fine. You can try 5,000, start with that. If you need a little more, go for it. Okay, there we go. We have awesome geometry, but I lost so much detail. Look at that cool detail that I have. It's just gone. So what we're going to do is hold control. And then in your undo history, tap one step back. So one step back was our bad geometry. One step forward is our good geometry. When you tap, you make this little marker. 
we're going to go to Subtool and down to Project. You want to make sure PA Blur is set to zero, Geometry is on, and we're going to say Project History. Okay, so there's a slight change, nothing crazy. We're going to go to Geometry, press Divide. Remember, that's dividing each face by four. We're going to go to Subtool, Project History. Okay, we have great geometry. My details starting to pop up. Geometry, Divide, Subtool, Project History. There we go. It's still not quite where it was. So that's what it was before. We're like very close. So I'm going to do one more geometry, divide, subtool, project history. I'm at 1.5 million polygons. And honestly, the jump was probably too high. I probably could have been good by sticking here. But we're at 1.5 million. We want to turn off Sculptures Pro. Since you have subdivision levels, it's going to warn you and say, hey, you have multiple subdivision levels. You can't use Sculptures Pro anyways. But don't use Sculptures Pro. Don't use DynaMesh at this point. Just like before, we have buttery smooth controls. We can go up in subdivisions if we want to. And we have wonderful geometry with all of our details from before. 